we're making English muffin toasting bread. And this is one of my favorite go-to breads. It's a wonderful yeasty bread with a coarse texture and it is absolutely perfect for toasting. And this is one of the easiest breads you can make because all we do is mix it, put it in the pan, let it rise, and in the oven it goes. We start out with three cups of all-purpose flour, which is 360 grams. And if you don't have a scale, just toss your flour in the container and then sprinkle it over your measuring cup and wipe off the excess. We add one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of instant dry yeast, one and a half teaspoons of table salt, and one quarter teaspoon of baking soda. I do get a lot of comments on my channel about using the salt and the instant yeast together. Instant yeast can come in contact with salt, so that's not a problem. We combine one cup of milk with a quarter cup of water and two tablespoons of oil. I'm using olive oil. You can use either olive oil or vegetable oil or some melted shortening. So microwave this until it gets between 120 to 130 degrees. Make sure you stir your liquids well before you measure the temperature. I microwave this for about two minutes. So if you don't have a candy thermometer, you don't need to stress over it. I'm actually right on 125 degrees and I can comfortably stick my finger in there into the middle. It's warm, but it's not burning my fingers. And now we pour our liquid over our dry ingredients. Go ahead and stir this with a wooden spoon until it comes together. It smells a little bit like a, a biscuit mix. Mix it with a wooden spoon until it's combined and then use your hands to sort of beat it or use a hand mixer or put all the ingredients in your stand mixer and use the flat beater paddle. Just mixing it as sort of like kneading it. So I did this for about a minute and that is good enough. Sticky, sticky. Okay, that's what we want. Our dough goes into an eight and a half by four and a half inch loaf pan, well greased. I greased mine with some shortening and I'm sprinkling some cornmeal in here. Now we just put this dough into our well greased pan. So spread this in here the best you can. We're gonna place this in a warm area for about 45 minutes to rise. When it rises to be even with the pan or just barely crest over the rim of the pan, it's ready to go in the oven. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes and this dough has risen nicely. When you look at this pan at eye level, you want your dough to be about even with the rim, no more than a quarter inch above that rim. This is ready to go into a 400 degree oven. My loaf baked for exactly 22 minutes. You want to remove this after it's turned golden brown. 22 to 27 minutes. If you have a thermometer and you want to be precise, the temperature should read 190 degrees in the center of the bread. We're going to let this loaf sit for five minutes in the pan, then we'll turn it out to cool completely. Now I've let this cool in the pan for about five minutes. I'm going to turn it out onto a cooling rack. That is such a beautiful loaf of bread and it makes wonderful toast. This English muffin toasting bread is absolutely delicious. It's a yeasty, coarsely textured bread and it is just perfect for toast. If you're someone like me who eats toast for breakfast every day, you will love this.